Jellyfish, my favourite. No, don't eat that. It's not a jellyfish, it's a plastic bag. Thanks so much. Those plastic bags look so much like jellyfish. No worries. The rubbish is getting really bad, isn't it? Sure is. Where are you from? A beach called Monbrupo in Queensland. No way, so am I. Actually, I'm headed back there because it's time to lay my eggs. Why don't we travel together? That would be great. It's a long way and there's lots of treacherous things on the way. Do you think it will be as bad as hatching at Mon Ripo? Do you remember that? How could we forget? First we had to claw our way up from under the sand, along with all those brothers and sisters. Then we had to find our way back to the sea. Dodging all those hungry seagulls. And then in the water, I came face to face with a shark. Lucky I found an anemone to hide in. I met a funny little fish in there called Nemo. He wanted to come with me, but I told him he had to stay with his dad because it's dangerous out in the ocean. I hope he listened to me. Hey, why did you throw that in the water? Do you know those plastic bottles never decompose? That means they float around in the ocean forever. Have you heard of the Great Pacific Garbage Patch? There are huge piles of rubbish floating around the ocean and your plastic bottle will end up there or on the beach somewhere. And we have to swim through all that rubbish. Sorry, we didn't know that we were thirsty. Get a refillable water bottle and take it with you everywhere. And if you have to have a plastic water bottle, make sure you put it in the recycling bin when you're finished. You have such lovely beaches in Hawaii, it would be a shame to see them covered in rubbish. Why don't you try and do something at your school to teach everyone about cutting down on plastic bottles? In Australia, they have a really good program called Choose Tap. Have a look on the internet. We will and we will never choose bottled water again. Yeah. Have a safe trip, turtles. Aloha. Aloha. Hey kids, make sure none of that rubbish goes into the ocean. My friend who nearly died from eating one of those plastic bags. My mum is always asking me to bring my own bags with me to the shops. Is that why? It is. Your mum is one smart lady. Even if you drop your rubbish in the park or the street, it washes down to the ocean. I've heard that even if the plastic breaks down into small bits, it's still dangerous for all marine life and birds. What about these chick packets? All packaging and bags are bad. There's a program in Australia called Take Free for the Sea. You should get all the kids and families at your school involved in it. I've heard about that. It's a great way that people are trying to reduce the amount of plastic they use and pick it up before they get into the sea. Adios turtles, we will stop littering and we will recycle and reduce our plastic bags and packaging. Adios. Nice day for fishing. Look, there's a turtle! There's two! Hey turtles, watch out for our fishing line! Thanks kids. Fishing line can be really dangerous. And not just to, when it gets a hook on it. Yeah, it can. People leave bits of fishing line lying around and it blows into the water and gets tangled around our friends in the sea. And even birds. Thousands of animals are killed each year by discarded fishing line. I've heard there's a program in Australia called Seal the Lake where they put special bins near the beach and piers so people can put their fishing line in the bins so it doesn't hurt the animals. Thanks turtles, I'll google it and get onto it. Bye turtles. Safe travels back. Not far now, Australia is just over there. Finally home. I hope all those kids listen to our messages so our hatchlings can be safe in the future. Now let's go lay our eggs.